The shaded area in this figure is called an arbolos, which is a Greek word meaning shoemaker's knife. It is formed by drawing two smaller semicircles inside a large semicircle. Suppose P is a point on the diameter AB. Now, Archimedes showed that if a line is drawn from P perpendicular to AB, like so, meeting the arbolos again at Q, then the area of the arbolos is equal to the area of the circle with diameter PQ. We're going to prove this result. Okay, so this is what we're going to prove. The area of this red circle is equal to the area of the arbolos. Let's see what we can do here. We know that the area of the red circle, the, the formula for circle is pi r squared, right? That's a, you know, uh, elementary. So, let me just write something here. Okay, so the area of the red circle is pi times r, which in this case is uh, pq divided by 2. So pi pq divided by 2, that's our radius squared. Okay, and the area of the arbolos is, well, how do we get the area of the arbolos? It's in, this involves three semicircles here. So that would be the area of the semicircle, the big semicircle, minus the area of the medium semicircle, minus the area of the small semicircle. So that would be half times pi times r of the big semicircle is ab divided by 2, that's the radius, and we have to square that, minus semicircle, so half times pi times the area or the radius of this medium-sized semicircle which is AP over 2 squared minus 1 half pi times the radius of this small semicircle is PB divided by 2 or BP. BP divided by 2 squared. Okay? So, let's see, what else do we have here? We have to prove that this should be equal to P, pi pq over 2 squared. Okay? So, I can simplify this as pi over 4 times pq squared. So that's the area of our uh, circle, the red circle, I mean. Okay? I can factor out all the constants here like 1 half pi and 1 fourth because this is 2 squared. Okay? It, it's on the denominator so that's uh, pi over 2 times one-fourth. So what's left here is AB squared minus AP squared minus BP squared. Okay. My objective is to make this in terms of PQ because I'm seeing pi here and there's 4 here. And where do I get that 2? Okay, let's go back to the figure. Okay. Uh, okay, I see something. So, A, B is equal to A, P plus BP. Okay. But this is squared, squared, squared. Okay. 
Let me just change the color here so we can. Uh, what if I square this? So this should be, let me move here a little bit, okay? If I square both sides, then I'll be getting AB squared equals AP plus BP squared. Okay, if I square this, I should also square the other side. So AB squared here is equal to, I just want to get rid of that, <laughs> that's why. Okay, AP squared, sorry, that's not AB, it's AP squared plus 2 AP times BP. Uh, you should review your algebra here now. <laughs> and BP squared, okay? All right, is this right? Okay, I think so. AP squared to AP, BP plus BP squared. Okay, so we can, instead of this, I just want to eliminate variables here. That's why if we put it here, we can, you know, cancel this and cancel this. Ah, okay. So yes, we can now substitute that here. Let me change the color again. And so that would give, can I simplify this to, you know, pi over 4? Because there's pi over 4 here already, so 1 half. The same thing, right? And AB squared is equal to AP, what was that again? AP squared plus 2AP BP plus BP squared. Okay, I just replaced AB squared with this. AP squared plus 2AP BP plus BP squared. And then we have to show this AP squared minus BP squared. Okay, so this cancels out. BP cancels out, I mean BP squared. So what's left is 2AP times BP. Okay, ah, so no more addition and subtraction, right? This, are, this is a product, so I can cancel 2 divided by 2. So what's left here is, oh, we're getting closer. We only have pi over 4 here. That's I'm, what I'm targeting now. So pi over 4 times 2 is already canceled by 1 half here. So AP times BP. Okay? Now, is PQ squared equal to AP times BP? That's one thing we have to prove. There's one more thing I, s I can see here. If we try to, um, let me draw, let me form a triangle here, okay, and another one here. Look at this triangle. This triangle here uh, forms a right triangle, and this, okay, let me use a pointer here. If this is 90 degree, uh, 90 degree angle, then this should be equal to this angle here, and angle BQP here is equal to this angle here. So triangle APQ and triangle BPQ are similar triangles, okay? Let me write them here to illustrate. So we have here two triangles. Sorry about that. A, <laughs> P, Q, and another one. Smaller triangle with the same angles but smaller sides. This one now is Q. Q is right here. Do you see that? Q is right up here, but if I turn it, Q is down here below, and this is P, and this is, uh, yeah, this is P, and this is P, okay? 
they are similar triangles, meaning their sides are proportionate. Okay, so ratio in proportion. AP is to PQ is equal to their corresponding sides, which is this is AP, right? The corresponding side is PQ here is 2. The corresponding side of PQ is BP. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to what we are trying to prove. AP, BP. What is AP, BP equal to? By cross multiplication, Okay, I'll multiply this with this. I multiply PQ to this. So that would give us AP times BP is equal to PQ squared. Okay, let's apply this. Oh, there you go. AP times BP is equal to PQ squared. So this is now pi over 4 times p q squared which is actually the area of the red circle pi over 4 times p q squared so that's how we prove we proved that the area of the red circle is equal to the area of the arbalus